This example shows mesh created on simple geometrical shape using auto blocking. The same geometrical shapes will be meshed by using algorithms further in lecture. We can observe that tri mesh is created by just splitting the quad elements. Now we will discuss important algorithm in ICM for creating surface mesh. This is patch independent algorithm. This is a very quick algorithm which produces very good quality surface mesh and results in good distribution of nodes. There are also some drawbacks which we will also discuss. Patch dependent mesh as the name suggests depends on surface patches. Every surface in geometry is one patch and it is defined as bounding curve. In patch dependent meshing, these patches are meshed one by one. Every patch is defined by closed loop. Thus, in case of auto blocking, build topology operation is also necessary. But it will be automatically performed before meshing starts. It is always necessary to mesh each surface patch separately. Example, if we have one plane surface made up of many plane surface patches, it is not necessary to mesh them individually. Also, some patches triangular patch in fi such as those in figure shown will produce very bad quality surface mesh, so it is better to merge them with adjacent surfaces and after that produce mesh. This process can be achieved by temporarily deleting the curves which are called which is called making dormant. This allows the user to ignore the curve during patch dependent meshing which results in improving quality of mesh. The patch dependent method also uses a paving scheme to mesh surfaces. Meshing starts from curves and thus the node distribution curves will decide the mesh on surfaces. This also clarifies the necessity of build topology operation since if it is not performed then adjacent surface mesh will not be connected. The figure shows sample surface which will be meshed using patch dependent algorithm and thus make use of make dormant operation and then we will also discuss make the benefits of make dormant operation. As you can see in the figure patch dependent has produced nice surface mesh in very less time but one can observe the bad quality elements in triangular surface. This is due to geometrical constraints. If those curves are removed, mesh quality will increase but if you remove the other curves, it will not impact the mesh quality. So only those curves should be made dormant. So we make those curves dormant and this has resulted in improvement of the mesh quality. As you can see within this triangular curve region, the mesh quality has certainly improved from this particular mesh. This was the bad quality older mesh and this is after making dormant. So you can see the mesh quality has improved overall also. In this slide we will discuss some of the critical points related to patch dependent meshing. Now first is the patch dependent mesh starts from curves. As the figure show, two rectangles with same curve mesh but different surface mesh size. Difference in surface mesh size is evident by observing tetra at the center of each surface which represents the surface mesh size. But as we can see, the mesh created is same, thus surface mesh size has no effect on the mesh created. Second important point is connected surfaces result in connected surface mesh. Observe that in case 1, diagonal curve is yellow which means that it is connected to only one surface. So two semicircular surfaces in case 1 are not connected. But red colored diagonal in case 2 indicates that two semicircular surfaces are connected. Now observe respect to mesh, one can see that surface mesh on both surfaces are not connected in case 1 while those in case 2 are connected. As you can see these are not connected mesh so they are basically different mesh but in case 2 it is a connected mesh. After discussing those critical points we will move on to see some of the common options that are available in patch dependent. First are the general settings or general options. 
In this, we have ignore size and respect Rhine element option. That is the tick options, which we will discuss later what these mean. Then we have the boundary options in which we have protect line elements and smooth boundaries option. Also allow free bunching option is there. We will also discuss these in detail in the coming slides. Third are the interior options in which we have force mapping, project to surface and adapt mesh interior. Various settings and various parameters have to be given as inputs. We will discuss these in coming slides. Last are the repair options in which we have the try harder improvement level respect dormant boundaries option. We will also discuss these later. So what you should know is there are common options that are available in patch independent meshing are the general options, the boundary related options, the interior related options and the repair of the mesh options. Let us see the general options in detail. In this we have ignore size and respect line elements. Within ignore size, small features such as, such as sliver surfaces can be ignored. It can be done by merging the loops in the background. As you can see, if we zoom in on this, we have a 0.1 dimension small size feature. If this ignore size option is set at very low, sliver surface is meshed. Within this gap sliver surface, we are seeing mesh that is different from the remaining of the surface, remainder surface. But if we set the ignore size higher than the minimum edge of sliver surface, we can see that the sliver surface gap is ignored and we see a continuous mesh. So we can change this ignore size depending upon what type of gaps, sliver surface gaps or sliver surface entities we have and make sure that we don't have such kind of cases where a very bad quality mesh is generated within the sliver surface gap. The next option is respect line element. This forces the mesher to respect the already existing line elements during meshing. This results in conformal surface mesh with already existing surface mesh patch. In, in the given example, we can observe that mesh size on curves is changed and effect of respect line element command is observed. Let us see in case 1. In this case, when the respect line element was deactivated, surface patch was remeshed using new parameters, which in many cases is undesirable. You can see here the central patch is remeshed with new parameters. But in case 2, we can see that when the respect line element was activated, original surface mesh patch was unaltered and the remaining surface was meshed with new parameters. So this original surface patch, we are having this uh, its respective finer mesh that was retained and then the remainder of the surface that is remaining surface was meshed with new parameters. So this is the use of respect line elements. This can be used where we uh, in, in many cases when we import already created surface meshes onto new surfaces.